A tournament is a great way to get people talking about secure coding and actually learning about it as well. Not only the different vulnerabilities that are out there in the OWASP top 10, but actually how can you locate it and then go ahead and remediate those vulnerabilities as well. We're getting people talking about security. I think that's one of the great things about the kind of gamified techniques that Secure Code Warrior use. It's really difficult to get anyone involved in training. There's a common theme in terms of awareness, it's always very low and uh, generally speaking the uh, maturity of security, specifically application security, is, is very low uh, across most of the organisations I've worked at. Training that can be, come across as a bit boring with presentations. The biggest challenges that face us in our roles really is trying to get people on board with cyber security. But it does affect you, you know, you clicking on phishing emails, something bad might happen. And just getting people to understand in a day-to-day -day life that that's a problem yeah. for them. The best time to do a tournament is generally to kick off a training program. We have four steps as part of our recommended rollout and the tournament is the first part of that journey. We have a program, don't we, that everyone has to do when they sign up to the BBC. It's all designed around a theme that some people like, some people don't, but yeah. it's always hard to please everybody around a cyber ninja and at the end of it you qualified to do your job safely. I think the great thing with our platform, it really allows people to configure the tournament to their needs, enabling them to include people that are in the room and those remote users as well. And actually having the developers in one room, competing, working together, and actually really learning about secure coding is, is great for me, I love it. I'm really excited. It's good to, I guess, know that the things I've been learning, the things I've been developing over the last few years have actually paid off. Well, it was definitely good to see how you can recognise some vulnerabilities, how they define and, and, and stuff like that. So, you know, I did like the application and, and how it kept the narrative for the challenge and, you know, narrowed down exactly what, what you've been looking for. We definitely see people a lot more engaged with tournaments and things like that. And especially when you can win something at the end, people always love that. Yeah. Three, two, two one. I've definitely come away with the knowledge that you really need to read through stuff because uh, often the, the errors that you're making are in way, the way things are written and the way you're reading them. Um, and I think that's a good lesson for code in general, that actually the more obvious code, the more readable code is, the less likely people are to make mistakes in the first place and the easier it is to spot when they have made them.